He gave Advani the fight of his life. Blurring of lines between real and real. Govinda was used by Congress to defeat BJP bigwig Ram Nayak. Congress started the game, but BJP and TMC have taken it to a next level. So there's a lot of interest when people see that celebrities or film stars are contesting elections, and that's we, you know, that's been the case for a very long time. We've seen it happen in every election. But what brings film stars to try their hand at politics? You see, uh, the politicians, they decided to bring the film stars in and not vice versa. Film stars didn't decide to go there. They did that because, or primarily because the film stars bring in the factor of winnability. And usually film stars are used to, you know, upset a major political stalwart. Like if you see uh, Amitabh Bachchan, he came to politics in 1984. Ah, he was brought to contest. He was pitted against Himbati Nandan Bahubuna, who was a stalwart and a chief minister of uh, Uttar Pradesh. So he was, uh, he contested and he defeated Himbati Nandan Bahubuna. Then Sunil Da, he fought Ram Jethwalani and he defeated uh, him. Govinda was used by Congress to defeat BJP bigwig Ram Nair. And uh, if you see, if you go to Bengal, Munmul Sen was used to defeat Basudev Acharya, who was a nine-time CPI M, uh, MP. Hmm. So, you know, the film stars have been pretty handy for politicians to carry out these, these aspects. They bring in an element of glamour, glamour and then, you know, issues uh, go to the background. We are no longer discussing politic, uh, policies and issues. We are discussing personalities. So they change the you know the whole uh, architecture. Language, it? Yeah, architecture of uh, campaigning. And you know when you were mentioning, some of them have defeated stalwarts. Uh, though everybody has not had a great debut, but even in that there is a story. Like Rajesh Khanna, at the peak of his career, was pit against L K Advani. And even though he didn't win the first election, he did make a lasting impression. He made an impression because he gave Advani the fright of his life. Because LK Advani, at that point of time, you know, he was gloating on a high following the huge success of the uh, Rath Yatra. But, uh, you know, he barely managed to defeat uh, Rajesh Khanna by the skin of his teeth, saying it was less than 2,000 votes. Uh, but Rajesh Khanna, you know, the story had a happy ending for Rajesh Khanna because Advani had contested for two seats, the other seat being from Gandhi Nagar. And he quit uh, the New Delhi, uh, the seat. And now Rajesh Khanna was pitted against Chaturughan Sena. And, you know, another film star. And Rajesh Khanna managed to defeat him by about uh, 28,000 votes. But, you know, again, because Rajesh Khanna is the example before us, not every abhineta makes a good net. No, no, that is very much true. You see, many, uh, many of these uh, film stars don't take their job seriously. Look at Govinda. Govinda quit midway. Ah, he, he, he barely had a 15% attendance. Uh, now, Dev, who is one of the most, uh, you know, he, uh, he's been a two-time MP from Ghatal in West Bengal. He's a, a superstar in Bengal. His attendance is about 12% or something like that. Then uh, some of them have also quit their jobs, uh, you know, midway. Govinda, he quit midway. Uh, even Amitabh Bachchan, you know, where once he came under the cloud uh, following the before oh, con uh, uh, scandal, uh, he decided to quit. He thought that political was not his cup of tea. So some of them have uh, left the game, you know, uh, found it, you know, too hot to handle, politics too hot to handle. And they went back to, uh, uh, to acting. But some also have made fairly long, uh, decent careers. Mm -hmm. And among them, I think uh, Sunil Dutt would count as one of them, certainly. Yeah, yeah. Sunil Dutt uh, was uh, a hugely respected uh, politician and he won several times. There are others, several other politicians also who have, uh, from the film world, who have, uh, you know, um, lasted long and have made fairly uh, I fairly know for their uh, 
you know kind of political innings even someone like Vinod Khanna four time mp and he was also uh, uh, a union minister true in fact in gurdaspur people used to call him bridge wale baba yeah. because he was responsible for making sure the funds came in to build the bridge in gurdaspur so there was a lot of respect for him even on the ground uh, but when it comes to politicians and netas abhinetas who become netas then uh, who was the first one as an abhineta to try out his hand at the world of politics how did this start uh, probably uh, jagaiya you know he was a telugu film star uh, he won from the constituency omgol in 1967 he was probably the first uh, uh, actor who uh, who came to the lok sabha in post independence india uh, but you know in parliament actors you know being there to the rajya sabha route and uh, some of them made fairly uh, notable and significant contributions you know one of the finest uh, speeches on on uh, abolition of death penalty it was uh, through it came uh, through uh, prithviraj kapoor you know in 1958 in rajya sabha he gave that speech in fact he moved the uh, resolution also so you know uh, there have been other uh, fairly good instances of uh, actors and even writers and you know being uh, coming through the rajya sabha route and doing that but the the political the lok sabha route that came only in the 80s okay the lok sabha route came only in the 80s and uh, in this would you say that there are a lot more film personalities in the south who have made that transition rather seamlessly from abhineta to the world of politics yeah see uh, mgr became the chief minister of tamil nadu in 1977 and he remained the chief minister of T- tamil nadu till his death in 1987 later Uh, you know uh, ntr also became uh, the chief minister of andhra pradesh uh, even in in lok sabha we have had a fairly uh, long list of uh, actors who uh, have been there uh, we had uh, ramya divya spandana we had vijaya shanti we had d napoleon uh, we had k satyanarayan krishnam raju ambrish all of them film personalities who uh, had a fairly uh, decent run in the lok sabha any of them have you know struggled to make the transition have they stumbled and what have they done to sort of you know find their feet look uh, the bhojpuri film industry has been quite interesting in that sense right now we have three uh, actors from the bhojpuri film industry who are uh, in lok sabha uh, over the previous lok sabha and are contesting again uh, uh, see t- take the case of manoj tiwari mm. manoj tiwari had contested from samajwadi party in uh, in 2009 and then he lost and he changed uh, his uh, party came to bjp and and won in 2014 and 19 you know again you know he won he is one from azamgarh now it is interesting how regional stars have been wooed by a national party and making their their impact and uh, you know even shatrughan sinha who is a major star and now you know uh, as has previously been a union minister uh, a bjp mp and now is contesting again from tmc he has he also has acted in in bhojpuri films uh ah, he he was the hero of uh, bihari bab of so yeah so there have been it's it's quite interesting and fascinating in fact one of the one of the most colorful news emerging from this particular election was another bhojpuri star you know called pawan singh who had a very famous song called lollipop lagel ah he he is he's a, he's a major star out there and he was given the ticket to con- contest from asansol and he said no then yes and then no again so you know he he not, finally he again, he again said that he is going to contest he be contesting there but uh, you know Uh, he was not given the ticket uh what is the difference that you see or what is it that you see they have learned or picked up um to become a good neta i recently you know went to uh, mathura uh, for uh, to port on himamali and uh, you know it was uh, experience was pretty underwhelming because you know people were waited waited for her and she lacked a sort of warmth and engagement than one that one expects from a mass leader because she had been a two time uh, mp yes. and aiming for a hat trick now 
So one expected a degree of warmth, but uh, she came across as someone who seemed to be, uh, you know, rather disinterested in engaging with the audience. She read out, you know, partially from a written uh, sheet of paper, and she gave a it was a very sort of, you know, a, a kind of a simple, forgettable speech. You expect, uh, you know, uh, glamorous people to have a degree of charisma, but here you could see that while people might have been hugely interested in her, she was not, uh, you know, willing to engage uh, beyond a point. But, you know, she may be a kind of an exception because I have also seen Manoj Tiwari in action uh, in during one of his rallies. And he is far, far more, uh, you know, engaging and able to uh, get the crowd involved. You know, he's a, he's a singer actor and, he's, and, he, and he sang and, you know, and he could he could get the crowd going. I don't know how much of that translates into real votes, but he, in in his case, it was like being in a sort of a concert, you know, where you he's he's giving you a message, but he's also singing you singing songs and all that. So the pub it was like a performance, and public seemed to enjoy it. Since you mentioned Hema Malini, that's an interesting family. They have uh, at least three MPs, yeah. just amongst themselves. Yeah, but the experience of all of them, uh, what has that been like? You see, uh, you see I'd, I'd, I'd gone to Bikaner once and at that point of time, Dharmendra was the uh, MP from Bikaner. And I asked them, uh, what do you think of Dharmendra? And they said, he's a nice guy, but he's seldom around. I think one uh, gentleman who is uh, an activist, he brought out uh, an ad in a newspaper uh, saying, uh, giving, uh, uh, publishing the photograph of Dhan Dharmendra and saying, you know, missing, you know, because they wanted to make a statement that the MP was not seen in his constituency. Even Sunny Deol uh, has been, uh, from all accounts, an indifferent MP from Gurdaspur, you know. So, availability is different, but, you know, uh, the staying power uh, is different because Sunny Deol has again said that he won't be contesting uh, uh, a second time. Uh, uh, on the other hand, Emma Malini, uh, irrespective of performance, she she shows a, a, a persistence in coming back and back, and uh, I guess uh, to some extent that that has worked in her favor. Although the things that are going in favor are much larger, you know, larger things. Larger mix. Yeah, but uh, she is. The fact is that she's contesting a third time. You know. True. And her attendance actually is. Uh, I think it's below average. If you look at the parliament attendance, right? Yeah, the parliament attendance uh, for, for 2019, the average attendance is 79% and uh, Hema Mali's attendance was 50%, which is slightly better than her previous court, which was 38%, but uh, still it's much below the national average. Do you think political parties are banking on, you know, this blurring of lines between real and real? That is pretty obvious, especially when we take two series into uh, uh, serials uh, into account from the 1980s, late 1980s. You know, first is Ramayan and then Mahabharata. These two serials were iconic serials in, in the television circle. Because if you remember, satellite television came to India only in 1991. In 19, till, uh, till 1991, Doordarshan had a captive audience. And these two serials were so popular that they almost had 95 to 100% attendance. So the whole of India was watching. Time stood still when, you know, or India stood still when these series were coming on, uh, on, on. evening show. And we had trains stop, bus, buses being stopped. You know, anyone could enter anyone home and watch these series. So popularity of these actors was tremendous. And, you know, these people were almost thought of as divinities. So, you know, BJP was very uh, quick to uh, cash on uh, on this thing and they gave Deepika Chikalia, the, uh, who had played Sita in Ramayan, a ticket from Baroda and she won. Similarly, you know, Arvind Tanvedi, who had played Ravan, he was given a ticket from Sabarkantha and he won. Within two years of uh, the series being they, shown, being shown, and this is uh, this is quite uh, it's quite clear that there, there's a there's a kind of direct way of cashing in on, on someone's uh, popularity. And even later, you know, uh, Nitish Bharadwaj, who had played Krishna 
in Mahabharat. He also got ticket and he won. And not to forget that Dara Singh, who had played Hanuma in uh, Ramayan, he had also he was nominated to the Rajya Sabha, where he uh, was uh, quite uh, popular. Okay. And this election, is there any one political party that seems to have given or shown more of an interest? to give tickets to film stars or is that are you seeing that happen across the board look what what has happened is uh, congress started the game but bjp and tmc have taken it to a next level so you know uh, if you see this particular election we have hema malini ravi kishan manoj tiwari kangana ranawat nirahua lokit chatterji arun gobel hansraj hans suresh gopi G. Krishna Kumar, Radhika Sharat Kumar, and Smriti Rani. All of them are from BJP and they are contesting elections. Uh, from from the Trinamul point of view, we have Shatrugan Sena, who is contesting from Asan Sol. Then Shatamdi Roy, again, is contesting. Uh, Joon Malia, Dev, Sayoni Ghosh, and Rachna Banerjee. Uh, they are all uh, film stars and they are all contesting. And it would be, you know, the election in uh, Hogli. Uh, the contested Hooghly can be uh, called uh, a battle of the stars where two film stars are facing off with each other. We have Lockett Chatterjee and we have Rashna Babaji. So that would be an interesting uh, interesting contest to watch. Yeah. All right. And uh, one final question. Uh, real, real. How much of a difference are they able to make when they're on the other side? I think if you look at their performance, uh, actors are better uh, of acting, uh, but uh, you know uh, it's a democracy, and we have uh, people from all walks of life contesting. And who are we to argue when uh, you know the people vote for them and people choose them? So uh, it, it's another matter whether uh, they are improving the quality of democracy uh, in and and uh, parliamentary work in this country or they are lowering the standards.